So let's look at a couple more example problems where we're finding missing angles using equations. So with this example problem, we are given an expression for angle A and for angle B, and we need to solve for X and then find the measure of angle B. So we have these two parallel lines. So let me highlight them. They have the two arrows on them. And we have this transversal here cutting the parallel lines. So we need to use the properties of parallel lines to relate angles A and B. And A and B, we actually refer to these as alternate exterior angles. So if we were looking at on the inside, these are alternate interior angles, but these two are going to be equal to each other. And one way to see that is that we can look at the vertical angle to angle A. That's just this angle right here. This is equal to A. And notice that A and B are now corresponding angles. And likewise, you can see that a different way. If we look at the vertical angle to B, that would be right there. These are equal angles since they're vertical. You can see this angle and this angle, A and B, these are corresponding as well. Or you can see that we have alternate interior angles, A and B, and we know those are equal. So lots of different ways to see that A and B are equal, but that is the relationship between these two. So we have that angle B is equal to angle A, and from there we can set up an equation. So let's just rewrite that down. We have angle B and angle B is X plus 93 degrees. And we're gonna set that equal to angle A, and angle A is this 6X plus 18 degrees. So let's now solve this equation. And notice we have variables on each side of the equation, so we need to move them to one side. And while you can move them to either side, I generally recommend to move them to the side with more of that variable. And six is greater than one, since that way you can avoid negative numbers. So let's cancel out this one X. And again, this is a positive one X. So we'll subtract one X to cancel that out. And that's just zero. So we get 93 degrees is six X minus one X, which is five X plus 18 degrees. So from here, we have a two-step equation. We want to get x by itself, and we'll cancel out addition first. So we will subtract 18 degrees on each side. So taking away 10 brings us to 83. Taking away 8 more brings us to 75. So 75 degrees is equal to 5x. And lastly, we want to cancel out this multiplication by using the opposite. We will divide each side by 5. And 75 degrees divided by 5 is 15 degrees. 5 divided by 5 is just 1. So we have 1 times x, which is just x. So this is what we think x is. And we need to now find the measure of angle B. So let's check our work here. We want to plug this in. So angle B, we are plugging in x is 15 degrees. So this will be 15 degrees plus 93 degrees and adding 10 to this we go to 103 adding five more brings us to 108. Now to check our work we're also going to find angle A and make sure that that's also 108. So for angle A we're also plugging in x is 15 degrees so we have 6 multiplied by 15 degrees plus 18 degrees and 6 times 15, that is just 90. So we have 90 degrees plus 18 degrees, which added together makes 108 degrees. So our answer makes sense, which means we can feel confident that angle B is 108 degrees. And let's do one more of these example problems. And for this one, we're again going to have these parallel lines. So let me just highlight which are parallel. So it's the ones with the arrows. And this one's a little bit more complicated, but is similar. We're told the expressions for angle A and angle B, and we need to solve for X and then find the measure of angle A. And these two angles are both on the interior and on the same side. So we know for one that since these are parallel, 
corresponding angles are equal. So the angle that corresponds to A would be right here. And let me use that same color. So this right here would be angle A. And now notice that angle A and angle B, they form the angle of a line. So we have our transversal here and these two angles added together would form the angle of this line. So this total angle here is 180 degrees. So when A and B are on the same side of the transversal and on the interior, they are supplementary angles. So we can add them together and then set them equal to 180 degrees. So let's write that out. We have that angle A plus angle B. This is going to be equal to 180 or 180 degrees. So now let's plug in our expressions for angle A and angle B. So we have 5x plus 34 degrees. That's angle A. And then plus the 2x plus 76 degrees. That's angle B. And again, this is just equal to 180 degrees. Now we need to solve this equation. So let's combine like terms. We will combine the variable terms. 5x plus 7x, or excuse me, 5x plus 2x is 7x. And 34 plus 76, well, 30 plus 70, that's 100. 4 plus 6, that's 10. So we get plus 110 degrees. And this is equal to 180 degrees. So now we have a two-step equation. And we want to solve this for x. So let's cancel out the addition first. So we'll subtract to do that. We're subtracting 110 on each side. So we get that 7x is 180 degrees minus 110 degrees, and that is 70 degrees. And lastly, to solve this for x, we want to cancel out this multiplication, and we can do that using division. So we'll divide each side by 7, and 7 divided by 7, that's just 1, and we get x over here, 70 degrees divided by 7, that is 10 degrees. So this is what we think is our value of x, and we will plug this into our expressions for a and b, though really we just need to find a, but we'll plug it into both to be able to check our work. So for measure of angle a, we're plugging in x is 10 degrees. So we get 5 multiplied by 10 degrees plus 34 degrees. So that is 50 plus 34 50 degrees plus 34 degrees, and we get 84 degrees. So this is, again, just what we think is the answer. But to make sense of this, we also will plug it into A and just make sure, excuse me, we'll plug it into B and make sure that these are supplementary, that they do add up to 180. So angle B then is twice 10 degrees plus 76 degrees. So that's 20 degrees plus 76, and 20 plus 70 is 90, plus 6 brings us to 96 degrees. And notice that 96 degrees plus 84 degrees, these are supplementary. So they do add up to 180, which means we can feel confident that this is the correct angle measure for angle A.